everyone, welcome to Yoga for Surfers. I'm Emily, this is my brother Grant, this is my husband Jordan, and we are currently on a surf trip in Costa Rica. Um, thought I would film this practice of stretches and um, postures that have really been beneficial to all three of us throughout this trip. And if you're not a surfer, no worries at all, this practice will do a great job of opening the shoulders and the chest, opening up the hips, and doing a little bit of twisting. So let's get started off the back of your mat in a seated meditation. Go ahead and find a nice cross-legged seat, sit up tall, close your eyes. Lengthen the spine, ground down through your sitting bones, and reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. Bring your hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Connecting right palm into the left palm. Bow your chin in towards your prayer. And just take a moment right here to set an intention for your practice, for your movement today. If you're a surfer, perhaps you're taking this moment to think of that one thing that you're working on out in the ocean. And we'll go ahead and set our intention together with a loud, deep breath. So with the eyes closed, open up the jaw, exhale all of your air out of your body. Take a nice big, full breath in through the nose, fill all the way up, fill up the lungs. And deep, open mouth, exhale, let that all go. Nice, release your hands to your knees. Keep the eyes closed, connect your pointer finger and your thumb on your knees. Spread all three other fingers out nice and wide on each of your knees. Sit up tall, seal your lips. Three ujjayi breaths together to set our prana, our breath. Lips are sealed, inhale through the nose. Feel the spine grow nice and tall. Keep the lips sealed, nice smooth exhale out of your nose, release that out. Two more just like that. Inhale. Constrict the back of the throat as you exhale out of the nose. Good. Last one. Inhale. Smooth exhale. Continue with that breath. Open the eyes. Inhale. Sweep your arms all the way up towards the sky. Good. Exhale. Cactus your arms. Take a little back bend, but only in the upper back. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Good, inhale, reach the arms all the way back up. Exhale, right palm comes down by the right hip. Left fingertips reach all the way up and over towards the right. Keep gluing the left sitting bone down. Stretch the left rib cage. Very good, let's reach back up, inhale. Exhale, change sides. Left palm down, right fingertips up and over. Focus on lengthening the right side of your body. Nice work, you guys. Inhale, reach the fingertips back up. One last time, let's take that baby back bend. Cactus the arms, open up the chest nice and wide. Maybe you wanna gaze up. Good, inhale, sweep the fingertips up. And exhale, let's make our way into a child's pose. So crawl the fingertips forward, two big toes will come to touch. Knees will open nice and wide. Ground your forehead down on the mat. And take a few deep breaths. Continue crawling the fingertips forward. Sending the hips back. A really nice time just to focus on the breath. Good, we'll thread the needle now. So slide the left arm underneath the right armpit. Left temple, left ear rest on the mat as you gaze towards the right. Beginning to open up our upper back as we compress the left pec. Good, let's go ahead and release that back to a child's pose. Rest the forehead down, take a breath in and out. Good, change sides. Slide the right arm underneath the left armpit. 
Rest your right temple, your right ear down, gaze to the left. Keep pushing the chest down into the right upper arm bone. Taking big, full, deep breaths into the upper back. Nice, gently release that out. We'll crawl the right fingertips back out. Just take one more deep breath in your child's pose. Good, let's come on up to a tabletop pose. Shoulders stack over wrists, hips stack over knees. We'll just take three simple cat cows here. So inhale, drop the belly, open up the chest, cow pose. Exhale, push into the mat, round the spine, tuck the chin towards the chest. Again, broadening through the shoulders. Two more connecting breaths move. Inhale. Exhale, round. Good. Inhale, cow pose. Open it up. Exhale, top pose. Round and ground down. Good. Let's push it back to our child's pose. Toes will be tucked this time. And then gaze forward. Inhale, slide forward. Slither forward. Cobra pose. Ground the tops of the feet down. Lift the head, the neck, the chest up. Good, exhale, lengthen the spine, lower the forehead down. We're gonna tent our fingers right outside the mat. Elbows point straight up, push the tops of the feet down. Inhale, rise the head, the neck, the chest up. Exhale, right shoulder dips down, gaze towards the left. This one feels good. Good, back up through center, inhale. Just flossing the shoulders, exhale, Left shoulder grounds down, gaze towards the right. Good, one more each side. Inhale, back through center, peel the heart, chest open. Nice, grant, exhale, dip the right shoulder down. Good, inhale, back through center, open it up. Exhale, left shoulder dips down. Nice, you guys. We'll come back through center, palms come underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes under, and send your hips back to that toes tuck child's pose. Round the palms down, spread the fingers nice and wide. Take another breath in, toes are tucked. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, nice and slow, downward facing dog. Auto Mukha Svanasana, our first downward facing dog in class. You have about five breaths here to do whatever you need to make this pose, the shape feel good in your body. So maybe bending one knee and then the other. Pull your shoulders out of your ears. Maybe shaking my head yes and no. Send the hips all the way up and back. Nice, you guys. Let's take the feet as wide as the mat and slowly begin to walk the feet, just one footprint closer towards the face. Left hand lifts up, left hand grabs for the outer right ankle. We'll take a twist in our downward facing dog. Gaze will lift up and out through that right armpit. Good, keep pushing the right palm down, take a full breath in. Exhale, release your left palm back into that shortened down dog. Take an inhale to ground the left palm down, lift the right palm up and change sides. Right hand Grasp for that outer left ankle. Really use your grip to pull your chest up and underneath the left armpit. Nice, you guys, last breath in. Exhale, release the right palm back to where it came from, and then nice and slow, keep the feet wide. Walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. So we're in that wide-legged forward fold at the back of our mat, grab your elbows. Let your head and neck hang heavy. You're welcome to bend your knees as much as you need to here. Taking deep breaths, just allow your chest, your upper body to drape over the legs. Good, and then we're slowly going to move into one of my favorites, which is sundials. So we'll keep the feet nice and wide, keep the grip of the elbows, and slowly just rotate your chest, the upper body, over your left leg. Good. Keep the feet as they are. You might need to bend your knees. Nice and slow, keeping the chest over the left leg. Come all the way up. Continue coming up over the left leg, and then we'll come all the way up to stand, grabbing the elbows. Good. Now we're going to take a side bend to the right, coming all the way back down the right leg. 
So it's like a big rotation in a clockwise direction. We land back in that wide-legged fold with the grip of the elbows. We'll come all the way back up the left side, coming back to standing, and then all the way down the right side. Good, you have time for two more of these at your own pace. Sun dial in a clockwise direction, coming up the left as you inhale and coming down the right as you exhale. Nice side body opener, last one. Inhale, come up the left side. Nice, you guys exhale, come down the right side and we'll just hang out in that forward fold, holding the elbows, let the head and neck relax. Notice the hamstrings opening up a little bit more. And then we'll change sides. So starting over the right leg, Coming up nice and slow. Inhaling up over the right leg, coming all the way up to stand through the center, grabbing the elbows. Side bend to the left. Exhale, drape the body as you come down the left side. Good, meeting in center. Inhale, come up the right leg. Good, and you should feel this in the sides of the waist as you come up. And then exhale all the way down the left side. Good, meeting at the bottom. You have time for two more on your own. So you're coming up the right. Good, exhaling down the left. Whew, one of my favorite ways to open up my body in the morning. <laughs> Last time, coming all the way down that left side. And when you meet at the bottom, you'll simply take an interlace right at the lower back. Interlace the fingers up the lower back, taking that big chest expansion, head and neck hang heavy. Deep breaths into the chest, the shoulders. This space tends to get super congested, especially when we're surfing, tends to get tight. Good, last breath in here. Exhale, release your hands. We'll take our downward facing dog for a walk. Down dog. Realign the feet so that they're hips width distance. Find your way back to home base, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, reach the right leg up, high to the sky. Exhale, bend your right knee, open your right hip. We'll begin to take massive circles with the right knee. Big, big circles. So continue to ground the palms, ground the left heel, and then change directions with those circles. So we're opening up our hips. It'll be good for you guys when you're turning you're surfing, right leg reaches up high to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot outside of the right hand. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Easy twist. Left palm is grounded, right arm is reaching. Try to align the right wrist over the left wrist. Good, take a big breath in here. Exhale, right elbow will dip down inside of the right foot, right palm faces up. So we're taking a little hip stretch here. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, easy twist, sweep the right arm up. Good, exhale, right elbow dips down, right forearm dips down. Nice, you guys. Try to get in there. Last one, inhale, reach it up. This time, exhale, walk your hands all the way over to the left foot, taking skandasana at the back of your mat. So right foot is flexed. Some of you might be here, and that's totally fine. We're gonna drop our hips down, and for this variation, we'll keep our fingertips down. We'll go deeper as we layer on. Let's move to the front of the mat. Skandasana. Flex that left foot up. So we're just warming the hips up. Try to keep the chest open. Hips are down. Good. We'll come back to the top of our mat. Left palm grounds. Coming back to that easy twist. Right arm rises high to the sky. And as you exhale, drop the left knee down. Reach the right fingertips towards the back of the mat. Stay here. Or maybe you bend into the left knee. Capture the outside of the left foot. Twisted monkey. So there's a couple variations of this pose. You can either pull the left heel towards the left glute, which gives you a quad stretch, or you can kick the left foot into the right hand, which gives you a shoulder stretch and a hip stretch, which is the variation I want everyone to do. So we're opening our shoulders and our hips. Kick the left foot into the right palm. Good, you guys. Take one last breath in. Exhale, gently release that left foot. Walk your right hand outside of your right foot. We'll step back to a high plank pose. Take a full breath in here. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly in one piece. Amazing. Interlace your hands at your lower back. Zipper the inner thighs, inner legs together. 
Inhale, lift it up. Lift everything up. Shalavasana, lift the legs, lift the chest, punch the fist towards the back of the mat. Good, big breath in. Nice, exhale, release your hands down. Let's tuck our toes, we'll come back to that toes tuck child's pose as we inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Very good, full breath in here, full breath out. Other side, left leg rises high to the sky, inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, open your left hip. We'll take those big circles. So keep the hands grounded, keep the shoulders square to the mat. And just let this feel good, bringing synovial fluid into that left hip joint. Change directions, big, big circle. Opening it up. Nice. Let's rise the left leg up as we inhale. Exhale, step left foot outside of left hand. Left arm rises up, easy twist. Good, so right palm is grounded, left arm is lifted, and the legs are nice and strong. Take a full breath in here. Keeping the left knee bent, dip that left elbow inside of the left foot, coming into the hip stretch. Good, we'll do that two more times. Inhale, sweep the left fingertips up, easy twist. Exhale, left forearm bone comes down to the mat. Good, last time, inhale, left arm rises. This time, exhale, walk your hands all the way towards the back of the mat. Coming into Skandasana, maybe you can take it a little bit deeper this time. So this is our second time here on each side. Drop the hips low, lift the chest up. That's it, you guys. Take a full breath in. And then like a ninja, we're going to move to the top of our mat. Skandasana. Right foot is flexed. Hips are down, chest is up. And you'll just notice the difference on each side. One side might be more open than the other. Good. Let's rotate to the top of our mat. Back to our easy twist. Right palm is down. Left arm is up as you inhale. Exhale. Right knee drops down to the mat. Swim the left arm back. Bend into the right knee. And you'll take your twisted monkey. So capture the outside of the right foot with the left hand. And then notice the difference between pulling the quad stretch and then kicking the right foot back into the left hand. That's what we want here. Big chest opener, big hip opener. Keep kicking back, keep broadening the collarbones. And use this time to breathe into that space directly underneath the collarbones. Good, take a big breath in. Exhale without slingshotting the right foot, release it. Plant the left palm outside the left foot. We'll step back to a high plank pose as you inhale. And we'll take our first chaturanga. Exhale, bend the elbows. Good. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the feet. Open up the chest. Pinch scapula together. Good. Exhale. Lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Nice work. Take a full breath in. Exhale, drop your knees down. We're going to come into... Um, puppy dog pose. So walk the fingertips all the way forward. Hips stay over the knees. Forehead grounds down. And we're opening up the chest here. So imagine my hand was just gently pushing the back of your heart down towards the mat. Hips stay lifted. Nice big, big chest opener here. Two more breaths. Good. Gaze in between the hands. Drop the elbows, the forearms down. We'll slither forward this time to a sphinx pose. So drop the hips down. Extend the legs out long behind you. Push into the forearm bones as you peel the chest, the heart, through the window of the shoulders. Let's gaze over our right shoulder. Gaze towards your right heel. Stretch the left side of your neck. Good. And then change sides. Gazing over the left shoulder, the left. Good. Back through center, inhale. Exhale, hands come underneath the shoulder, tuck the toes under, and let's try to push it straight back into a downward facing dog. Nice, you guys. Very strong. Big breath in, big breath out. Home stretch. This is our last standing series on each side. Right leg rises high to the sky, inhale. Exhale, right knee, right triceps. 
squeeze it up and in there. Good, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, right knee left, tricep, twist. Good, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Drop that left knee down, keep the fingertips tinted. Pull the heart, the chest open, look forward, inhale. And then lift your hips up and back, coming into a pyramid pose. So fold over that right leg. Some of you might pop the right ball mound of your right foot up. Good, really stretching the whole back side of the right leg, stretching the hamstrings, super important. Lengthen the spine. Good, let's all bend into the right knee, coming into crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Just passing through, exhale, warrior two. Open up the arms, bend into that right knee. It's our first open hip posture on this side. Keep the arms nice and strong. Good, you guys. And then we're gonna continue opening up the shoulders. So this is good for all the surfers out there. We'll take eagle arms, Garuda Asana arms. Right arm comes underneath the left arm. If you can't quite get there, you can always just grab for the shoulders. Maybe you're taking the double wrap. So stay low in the legs, and then we'll take clockwise circles with this grip, with these eagle arms. Taking big, big circles. And you'll feel a nice big opening in the back of the shoulders, that space in between the scapula. Try to make big circles with the elbows, keep breathing, and then change direction. Nice big exaggerated circle. So the upper body is moving, the lower body is staying nice and sturdy. Nice, one last big circle, there you go. Let's extend the arms back out, warrior two. And then inhale, we'll take reverse triangle. Sweep the right fingertips back, straighten that right leg, take an inhale breath. Exhale, bend into the left knee, skandasana towards the back of the mat. Hands come to heart center for this variation. So I told you we were gonna take it deeper. Fingertips can stay down if you can't quite get there yet, or hands will come to heart center. If you wanna take the shoulder opener, go ahead and open up the arms. Left hand will come down, right fingertips will come all the way up. And then great, you're gonna to wanna to stay there. If you have the left heel grounded, then you can take the full bind. Good. Just play around with whatever works for your own body. Two more breaths. Good, release the bind if you have it. Hands will come down to the mat. Let's walk all the way back towards the front of the mat, bend into that right knee, easy twist. Left palm down, right palm all the way up. You remember this, and we're coming into a side plank. Roll onto the outer edge of the left foot, right foot steps back. Vashi Sasana, side plank. Strengthening our obliques and our core. Good, we'll take one last breath in. Exhale, move through a high plank, through your chaturanga, your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest, the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths, take a couple of moments. In your downward facing dog. Good, you guys. Maybe shaking out the head, the neck. Nice, we'll move on to our last side, our left side of our standing series. Left leg rises up as you inhale. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, squeeze it up and in. Good, we're sweating over here. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, cross it under. Nice, left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. We'll come onto the finger tops, tap the right knee down, open the chest, just passing through as you inhale. Exhale, lift your hips all the way up and back, long pyramid pose. Maybe you flex the left foot towards the sky, lifting the ball mound of the left foot. Keep dialing that left hip back as you lengthen the body over the left leg. Deep breath. Good, let's all bend into the left knee, passing through crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky. Exhale, Viravadrasana two, warrior two. 
open the chest, open the arms, strengthen the biceps, left knee is directly over that left ankle, chest is nice and wide open. Good, we'll take our Garuda Asana arms this time, left arm underneath the right arm. So we're either grabbing the shoulders or we're, we're taking that full wrap, eagle arm. And then we'll start with circles this time in a counterclockwise direction. So big, big circles, elbows come towards that left knee and then all the way back towards the back of the mat. Good. Keep breathing. Try to bend that left knee a little bit more as you open the hips. Good. And then change directions, massive circles with those elbows. Keep pushing the palms away from you. Good. Decongesting the upper back. Thanks, you guys. One last big circle. We'll slice our arms out long here with drops in a two. Good. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the left leg. Reach the left fingertips back behind you. Exhale, skandasana towards the back of the mat. Bend into the right knee. Left foot is flexed. Fingertips can come down, or if you're ready to move on, hands will come to heart center. Think of glutes, hips down, chest lifted. Good. And then if you'd like to move on, you'll spread and open the arms. And if your right heel is down, only if the right heel is down, you can try for that full bind. Good. Three deep breaths here, you've got it. Can you flex the left foot a little bit more? Good. Gently, everybody release your fingertips out long in front of you. We'll crawl to the top of the mat, coming back into that easy twist. Right hand comes down, left palm reaches all the way up, and then spin onto the outer edge of the right foot, stepping back into side plank, Vashi Stasana. Finding one long line of energy from heels to the crown of the head. One last full breath in. Exhale, left palm comes down, pass through plank. Final vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, side that out. Gaze forward, bend your knees, inhale. And then gently, as silently as you can, I want you to hop your feet to the outer edges of your hands, coming into malasana. Yogi squat. Heels are in. Toes are out. Good. Sink the hips low. Lift the chest up. Now we're just going to play around with this one. So fingertips will come down. You're going to drop the right knee down and then the left knee down. Just opening up the hips. Good. Nice. Nice, you guys. And then we'll come back into that Malasana Yogi squat. So heels are in. Toes are out. And then all I want you to do is lift this up. So I want you to walk the feet a little wider than the mat. Hands will come onto the knees. So your hips are about in the same line as your knees. We're now in a goddess pose. I'm gonna face you guys. Take a big breath in. Exhale, dip that right elbow, that right shoulder down. Gaze towards the left. So your hands are on your thighs, good. Back through center, inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, left shoulder dips down, gaze over to the right. Good, one more each side because it feels good. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, right shoulder dip. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, back through center, sorry. Exhale, left shoulder dips down. Good, back through center, inhale. And then you're gonna walk the heels in a little bit more and come back into Malasana. Dropping all the way down. Good, we're gonna keep walking the heels in, in, in. Good, coming all the way down. And then see if you can Drop the glutes down and come into Navasana, boat pose. Maybe don't make as loud of a cut as Grant did. Lift the chest up, fingertips reach forward, take a full breath in. Exhale, we'll lower down to our low boat, extend the legs out long in front of you, fingertips reach long. This is our last little bit of work. We're here for three. Squeeze the legs together, open the chest for two. And one, hug the knees in towards the chest, lay on your back. Wrap side to side. Nice work, you guys. Let's capture the outer edges of the feet, just staying with the theme of opening up the hips. Happy baby pose. 
Ananga Balasana. Push feet into hands, hands into feet, finding the opposition of effort and ease. You're welcome to close your eyes here. Maybe stretch out your jaw by taking your mouth super wide, side to side. We'll slowly arrive back through center, hug both of the knees in towards the chest, and then as you're here, just rock side to side, give your lower back a little love, a little massage, and then extend the right leg out long in front of you, interlace your hands right at the shin bone, the left shin bone, and pull, compress the left knee in towards the left armpit. Really pull it in, take a big inhale. Exhale, left knee dips over towards the right. Supine twist, left arm extends out towards the left, shoulder blades are grounded. And if you're ready to take it a bit deeper, capture the outer edge of your left foot with your right hand and extend the left leg long. Breaths, you're welcome to breathe out of your mouth. Good, nice and slow. We'll slowly arrive back at center. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Capture your knees with both of your palms, and then we'll begin to take circles in opposite directions with the knees. So we're taking circles in opposite directions with the knees. Two big toes might stay touching for this, kind of like a can opener. And then you'll change directions with the knees with the circle. Good. And if you have no idea what's going on, you can do what Jordan's doing, which is just taking circles with the knees. Good, and then hug the knees into the chest. You can decide right now if you need anything else. So if you need a headstand, a shoulder stand, a full wheel, go ahead and take it. But if you're ready to move on with me into Shavasana, go ahead and extend one leg out and then the other. Arms will arrive by the sides of the body. And we'll rest here together in Shavasana for about two full minutes. So close your eyes, rest your body. Together we'll take a big, full breath into the entire body. Nice big open mouth exhale.
Shavasana, please stay as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move on with wherever you're at in this moment, go ahead and keep your eyes closed and just move the body around in any way that feels nice and organic to you. Maybe rolling out the wrists and ankles. Perhaps rocking the head from side to side, stretching out the sides of the neck. And together, we'll interlace our hands and flip the palms up and over the head. Point the toes towards the back of the mat as you reach your flipped palms towards the front of the mat. Get nice and long, stretching all sides of the body. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hug your knees towards your chest. Good, rock on over to your favorite side for fetal position. Just taking a few moments here to ground down and collect all that good energy from your practice. Nice and slow, we'll push ourselves up to a seated meditation, that exact same spot we started in, facing the front of our space. Close your eyes, and when you arrive with your spine nice and tall, take three huge deep shoulder rolls up towards your ears and all the way down the back, just noticing all of that congestion in the sides of the neck and the shoulders that has disappeared throughout your practice. And the hands will arrive at heart center, Anjali Mudra, finding that beautiful opposition between opposite sides of our body. Bow your chin in towards your prayer. And take a moment to find that space of gratitude for all the blessings in your life, seen and unseen. Together we'll take a full breath in. Nice open mouth exhale. Gently bowing forward to honor ourselves and each other. Namaste. Namaste, yogis. Namaste to my models, Grant and Jordan. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Woo, thanks, guys. Sweet. How was it?